Good evening, this is Betamax80 with a slightly impromptu video. Sorry if I look a bit uncouth, I've actually had quite a busy um, but positive day today. Um, however, the video is something I promised myself that I would make because this is an impromptu unboxing of something that came up on eBay at an unusually good price. First item, quite exciting because both came together, random jiffy bag. I was told it was new, but welcome to eBay, random jiffy bag, and it's a random memory stick from an unknown manufacturer. I still don't know who it's from. I think, let's just say that this is the only format in which these were being sold as new, um, all the way from China, so it was slim pickings and I took what I could get. Indication of what we might have in store. No, because the camera can't focus properly. No, that was possibly a hopeless exercise. Okay, um, well this is a stick of DDR2 um, 4200, PC2 4200 is a random spec, running at 533 megahertz. Um, the more unusual thing about this particular single stick of memory is that it's a two gigabyte stick. That's why I had trouble getting it and can only get it in this one format. Two gigabytes of PC2 533 or PC4200 memory. That is for what I very much hope is in the following box. First of all, yes, this was a very good price on eBay. This price was too good to pass up. However, packaging failed, unfortunately. The box for the thing itself also doubled as a shipping box. To give you an idea of what this might be, let's flip it over. Via embedded. Yes, via embedded. Could this be a mini ITX board? Yes, it could be a VIA Mini ITX board. I hope it's a VIA Mini ITX board because that's what I ordered. If it isn't and it's a house brick, I was done. We will see. I have the scissors. I literally have just been to the post box and checked this. I might add that no, I don't yet have a system for this. But this was such a good price for a brand new, unused, however vintage model of one of these via integrated boards that I couldn't pass it up. I needed to have one and I see it as a, as a stock item at this point. It's a stock item awaiting, um, awaiting a project, I suppose. But I have a very good feeling that it's a project that will come sooner than later and it will be based around the fact I actually now own one of these boards. Right. Unedited glory, I know, I'm sorry, but tricky tape and I since they actually carved into the well they didn't carve into it, but they've taped up the seals on the genuine motherboard box i really want to keep as much of the opening process of the proper motherboard box as at all possible because it's going to have to stay in this box for an unspecified amount of time until i have the money to actually build around this board and yes this is a board with a processor built into it a via processor as well i think Yes, we have enough to do that. We're getting there. I've now got to work on the top of it, which is which is another mystery, I think. Just a case of wanting to keep it all intact, which is difficult when they love to ship you the stuff in the box it's supposed to be stored in. It really annoys me actually, it wouldn't have killed them to use just another box for this box, if you follow me, because this is 
a very special box because these are very special boards as I'm sure you agree with me I'm sure you can concur mm. we may have a glitch do -de do -de do do -de do -de do Oh, he's always oh, always oh, put a piece of card over. Oh, okay now. There's sort of. Yes. Not really. There's sort of some protection for the board itself because he's put a piece of random card, I think, over the box itself. But it makes it really hard to score along the line. The better flipping box opens. Yes, my head's done in a bit by this. I'm, I'm trying. No, I'm trying. I'm doing it. Don't play with scissors. They're very dangerous. That's, uh, but it's an exciting portal to the world of what might be inside a box. So it swings and roundabouts. Do 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 do. This is just terrible, um, terrible viewing, but uh, very exciting unboxing. So it's okay. I think. I think I have an excuse because ITX boards are cool, and I've always wanted one. But I don't know if you've looked on Via's site recently. They they seem to think that their boards with two generational processors should cost you £325 in general. I'm not sure that I can justify that, however much of a fan I am of the idea. I'm going to try side two. I, I can't promise, well I can't promise anything really, but I'm having a go at promising a nice clean opening. I like a good reveal, don't you? I like a really good unbox reveal so I'm I'm working towards the the sentient goal of an unbox reveal where I just open the flap and everything is exciting and new and as it should be are you enjoying the untaping video not so much an unboxing as an untaping. At I might add one fifty-eight in the morning. The reason why is because I've only just checked my post box. And that I did. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, we're in a bit like Flint. We we stop. No, no, we're not stuck. We're going to do it. We have the open box. You're seeing this first with me. What do we have? Oh, oh, we have an IO shield, which is nice. Worth the money itself to have the proper IO shield for your um via ITX board. You get a used one. You're not going to get this. It's just the way of the world. And you have a single, how generous, a single ATA133 capable ID cable, a single cable. Notice, oh I love a good notice, I love to take notice me. Notice, we are on to layer number two. Notice. To find and download the latest drivers, user manual or quick guide for this product. Oh, I don't think they're bothered with the CD. Goody. Please visit via embedded official support at viraembedded.com forward slash download. I don't think that site works anymore. Yay! That's useful information. Goody. Oh, wow. You actually don't get a CD anymore. Wow, that's uh, cheaper than. Well, here it is. Oh, I am going to open this because I am excited. Oh, it's 
sticker saved. You know. This is a Via Epia E-N, so E for Nelly, E-N for Nelly, exaggerated Nelly, E-N, <laughs> series, 15,000 G. So it's an, it's a Via Epia E-N 15,000 G, which means that this has a Via C7 processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. So this is an old series of board running what was the fastest processor for this series so this was available as a 1.0 a 1.2 and a 1.5 i believe and this was the most powerful 1.5 gigahertz single core pentium 4 era but made later based chipset so this is a pentium m based chip um it does have a fan but look at this for integration just one Whacking great heat sink. I love it. Whacking great thing. So what are the features? Okay. Oh, we have a beeper. We have a system beeper. I love that. How retro. Right there. Two IDs. These are RAID configurable, apparently. These are two ATA133 slots. Yes, they only provided one cable. They're so generous. A single PCI slot for expansion this one which can support and I think I might see if I can get hold of this a two two port PCI riser card so this single PCI slot can apparently support two PCI um, slots extended on a riser not sure how it works but there we are it's a thing IO wise we have 5.1 sound we don't have a game port which is strange because it's the kind of era that there could still be a game port if they wanted 5.1 sound that is tv out which is quite nice one of the features i like about this board s video and composite tv out usb 2 gigabit ethernet which is quite nice quite advanced for this board really single serial vga this has a S3, um, well, well, no, this, this is a properly VIA era graphics chip. This is a, a VIA Unichrome Pro. VIA Unichrome Pro, so it's, I don't know, second to latest. It's before the Chrome 9, which I think is what they're still using now. So it's the one before the Chrome 9. And then you have PS2 as well, which is quite nice because these boards are all about legacy support. Um, the single memory chip I'm going to put in in a minute is for the single DDR2 memory slot. Very random that it takes up to two gigabytes because that's a very unusual configuration. But this takes a single chip at two gigabytes up to, so I'm putting in the maximum right away. Um, it has some other random additions. It does have some jumpers, which I wasn't expecting actually. It's quite cool though. It has headers for random things like LVDS, which is a completely defunct standard, really, in terms of consumer stuff. Um, not a huge amount more to say about it, except, um, yeah, I now own a Via Epia board, and I'm very excited. The other thing that interests me about this board is it, it would seem, at least on paper, to have support all the way from Windows 98 to Windows seven just about so that's a really broad range of operating systems and i would love to make maybe a dual boot windows 98 windows xp computer with this board in a i'm actually thinking a desktop case because if i had the dual pci there it would extend it to more like a mini atx size board um i'm thinking desktop case at the moment actually because it's got the ide support I, now then, was there a floppy support? I thought there was a floppy support. I don't think there is, which which means I don't have to worry about floppy disks. So that's that's actually all right. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Serial ATA. I don't know what board I've got. Serial ATA. I'm surprised myself. I didn't expect to see that. Oh, interesting. 
to be honest with you, what I'm doing now is looking what the board number is, because I'm not really sure I've got the board I thought I had. Maybe it's newer, maybe it's older. I don't know. It's the wonderful word via Epi, you don't really know. Mm. Anyway, you can see it's a lot of fun and excitement. They seem to have given me serial ATA instead of a floppy disk connector. How interesting. How very interesting. Well, what an exciting and, and packed little board. I'm going to give you a full front shot carefully here. Yes, most of it's heat sink. I know. Crazy times. Very fire rep your world. But yeah, the idea of a Windows 98, an XP dual boot computer on this board is very, very enticing, I think. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I hope that I'll be able to provide you a link to a system I build in this at some point in the not too distant future. I am thinking a desktop case could be quite an interesting project for this. Bye for now.